Chair, the ACDP has taken note of the various reports and this report in particular relating to the 2021 annual report. Firstly, we would like to commend the executive authority, that is the Speaker, Deputy Speaker and others in achieving an unqualified audit with no material findings and that is a continuation for the past seven years. And we would also like at the same at the same time to thank all staff of Parliament that have worked under very difficult conditions during this period. Now, Parliament did, however, report a net liability amount of 1.48 billion that's due to pass to time and medical aid provisions, as well as the provision for members' gratuities. And the additional point that was raised by Honorable Singh relates to domestic travel, and it's always beyond me why Parliament has to fund the domestic travel arrangements of ministers and deputy ministers, surely the departments that appointed them or to which they were uh, deployed or uh, appointed should bear those costs because they are significant given the constraints that Parliament faces. And then to make uh, matters worse, Parliament must, as other speakers have indicated, apply like other national departments to the executive for Parliament's budget. Now, the committee in its report states categorically, and this is not the first time that this issue has been raised, that Parliament is a separate arm of the state and cannot be expected to rely on the executive for its budget allocation, and the ACDP agrees on this, and we are grateful that at last the report indicates that there is discussions now between the executive authority of Parliament and the Minister of Finance which, quote, are in, pro are in process of discerning how this challenge may be resolved. And we look forward to progress being made in this regard. And I might touch on that in the other reports. But as we consider this report, it is also crucial, and it would be remiss not to mention the, as I hesitate to say limited, the, the lack of any oversight that this parliament has over firstly the promulgation of the state of disaster and secondly the extension of the state of disaster which was extended today we have no say over that whatsoever and it cannot be so it cannot be after two years almost two years and it was two years ago to today that i had covered 19 two years today that we still sit in with an extension, and that notwithstanding what President Ramaphosa said in the State of the Nation address, that that, that that previous one would be the last extension. So we have no say over the promulgation, no say over the regulations at all, and despite private members' bills from both the DEA and the Freedom Front Plus, the, the, the one bill was rejected today, which was an attempt to improve Parliament's oversight over those two issues. I thank you.